how to find product opportunity by searching for keywords. Why is this important? How can it make you money? This is actually a way that I have used, oh my goodness, probably more than 10 times in the last couple of years in finding in how I use Helium 10 to find product opportunity that I actually have launched on Amazon, right? This using this exact same method. When when you're searching for products, like I showed you, which is totally a fine way to search for products, eventually you're going to have to get to keywords, right? You're, you're going to have to understand, all right, I see some products that look good, but what are the keywords that drive sales? So because of that, we added this tool, which is the second tool here in black box here at the very top, you got to hit the keywords tab. And this tool allows us to start from second base already. It's kind of like if you're a baseball fan, you're in extra innings, uh, 10th inning, 11th inning, what, what happens? You start with a runner on second base. This takes you to that second base uh, at the beginning. So hit keywords in your black box. And then basically you are going to want to put in your criteria of what might indicate opportunity for you uh, for a keyword on Amazon. All right. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and start with search volume. I'm going to say, Hey, let me just do a minimum of 3000 search volume. Let's go to 8,000. Again, this is not a magic number. You can do any number you want. I, in the U S marketplace, I do recommend like over a thousand. Uh, in the U S marketplace. But if you're, if you're doing this in Germany or UK, you, you'd be totally fine with doing, um, like maybe 500 would be a decent, a decent keyword. Um, all right. What else do we have here? I'm going to go ahead and do the same price of 20 to 40. Now, one, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that when I do this 20 to 40, it doesn't mean that keywords that have products above or below this won't come up at all. This just means if I take an average of the top products on page one, uh, the, the price range is around at, uh, 20 to $40. Uh, let's go ahead and do a max review count of 150. Again, I just want to you know have some products where at least the average uh, review count is pretty low. Another one I highly, highly suggest doing. All right. I, I'll tell you a lot in these things like, Hey, don't copy me, but this one copy me. All right. Do minimum two or three or even four sometimes on the word count. This means the keyword phrase that's being searched it's going to be a minimum of two. Now, now, why do I say this? You can find one word keywords that have high search volume. Like a lot of people are searching for it on Amazon. Like let's take kitchen, right? Kitchen, you know, maybe has thousands of searches, but, but it doesn't have what I call buyer intent. Do you think that somebody who types in kitchen on Amazon is going to buy something from the search results? Probably not. Very rare that that happens, relatively speaking. Somebody who uses such a broad term, like just kitchen, is is probably uh you know just browsing looking for ideas right now now this is this is english in america i'm talking about there are some super long individual words that are in amazon japan amazon germany etc so you got to do what works for the marketplace but i'm just speaking about amazon usa right now now instead of a one word like kitchen what if the keyword was stainless steel kitchen serving spoon that's a very, that's a long keyword but doesn't that have a lot more buyer intent, it's much more likely that somebody is typing in that keyword and buying something in the search results that they see than just typing in kitchen because that, that's a very specific keyword. So, so that's just a little bit why I say try and put uh, at least two keywords there. All right, let's go ahead and choose the categories of the main products. Let's go ahead and do the similar ones that we did before, kitchen and dining. Uh, let's go ahead and do office products. Let's go ahead and do patio, lawn, and garden. And what I, I could choose that there's tons of, of, of filters here, guys, that, that you, you could probably figure out uh, what's the best for you. One that I really like is title density. This is something unique to Helium 10. Basically, this is looking at page one of the search results and it's saying out of all the listings on page one, last time Helium 10 checked, what is the number of products on that page that have the exact searched keyword in exact phrase form in the listing? For example, if the keyword I'm searching for is coffin shelf and the title density is 10, that means that on page one out of the 50 products on there, 10 of them had that exact keyword coffin shelf in the title, right? Not coffin shaped shelf, but coffin shelf in exact phrase form. And, and why this is a uh, interesting to know is that the lower that number is the better chance or the easier it's going to be for you to get to page one when you're trying to launch this product. It's not a guarantee or anything like that. And it doesn't mean if there's a high title and say, Oh, I'm not, I'm going to stay away from that. It's just kind of a gauge to know how difficult it's going to be for you to get to page one. So I like to find keywords that right off the bat, I, I have a little bit easier chance to get on page one. So that's why I put a maximum of five on this title density. Let's go ahead and hit search and see what we see. 
All right, I got 20 phrases. Same thing as I mentioned in black box products, guys. If you get over 200, it means you need to narrow your filters down. But let's just take a look at some of these keywords. Blank cards with chip fruit trees. My goodness. Uh, get well gifts for women after surgery. That's a very specific keyword right there, right? Uh, cruise ducks for hiding with tags. Hold on, guys. I, I got to look at this on Amazon. I have never heard of this keyword in my life. And now I'm looking on this. I'm like, what in the world is this? Cruise ducks for hide. I still don't know what this is, but just look at this. This is a keyword that's searched thousands of times a month. And look at the number one product on this page. Uh, it says 500 people have bought it in the last month and only has 29 reviews. All right. The one that has Amazon's choice only has 100 reviews. Uh, here's one that's in the top 10. It has zero reviews. It was just launched and it's already in the top 10. So this just shows you how easy it is to find these kind of keywords using black box. If I were to tell you, Hey, find me a keyword that searched for thousands of times where the products on page one are so new, they barely have any reviews and nobody has that keyword in the title. I mean, how long, how many hours would you be searching on Amazon for that? But look at that. I, I found 20 interesting, uh, uh, opportunities potentially there in black box took me less than one minute. So guys, black box keywords is super, super beneficial for finding product opportunity for a new product, uh, that you've never sold before, or maybe like a, a new product to your existing brand. Maybe you type, uh, you're selling coffin shelves like me and you want to see what other keywords have the word coffin in it. For example, that's another way that you can use this tool. Now in the next strategy, let me show you how to take this black box for keywords information even further.